Frenzy, my name is Kate Shirk, and welcome to Kathy Rain, A Detective is Born. Now, uh, this is a game that was actually recommended to me on Steam. Um, it was on sale at the time. It was a while back when I bought it, um, right when the New Year happened. Um, and I was just checking it out, and it had a, it gave me some serious Winona Earp vibes, which... I had, I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, and they just went back to, um, they just started filming uh, Winona Earp season four, uh, I think, earlier this week. Was it Tuesday they did? I can't even remember. Um, but they just started shooting uh, Winona Earp again, and I figured this is as great a time as any to play this game since it gave me such vibes. Um, so I'm not going to waste my time, I'm just going to hop right into it. So. Hey, you. Uh, hey. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, this is so comfy. I'm just gonna lie here and suffocate on my own vomit now. Yummy. I, uh, I had a thing I wanted to tell you. Uh-huh. This room sure looks different when it's spinning. So I was browsing through the used book ads in the paper when I... Listen, Eileen, I'm totally excited about books right now, but... Wait, hear me out! So I noticed this article about a war veteran from Conwell Springs who just died. I remembered that you used to live there and everything, and... Oh, how I wish for joyful, blissful sleep. A and get this! His name was Joseph. Joseph Rain. What did you just say? You knew him, right? I knew it! I knew you'd know him! Okay, I do know it was his grandfather. So... Yeah, he is... was my grandfather. Don't. Hey, wait a minute. I never told you where I grew up. Oh, well, I... Uh, well, I might have sort of looked you up. That is not cool, Eileen. Seriously. Right? That's gonna I just couldn't help weird. myself. Well, one of these days you're gonna help yourself to a restraining order. I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know. Well, anyway, you should know that the funeral is tomorrow. Okay. Are you gonna go? I don't know. Good night, Eileen. <sighs> Good night, Kathy. Good night, Eileen. Whoa, I swim. Sorry. <laughs> oh. September 25th, 1995. Day one. Okay. So I'm not sure how many days there are. Oh, God. That's oh, annoying. God. Make it stop. Right? Okay. How do we... Am I doing that? Stun gun. Oh, there we go. Look the alarm clock, turn off the alarm clock. Shut up. Looks like Eileen left a note for me here. Hi, Kat. Since it's such a long drive, I set the alarm so you won't miss the funeral. Thank me later. E. I'm so getting a new roommate. Okay, first well, off... I guess I should get going. I'm late enough as it is. Okay, so first off, I'm already annoyed that they have this gigantic dorm room. <laughs> I love how... Her... Eileen's side so pristine, and then uh, Kathy's side is so crazy and muddled. The stupid Titanic. That movie's not out yet. It's a promo poster Eileen got for being an extra. Oh, she tells it's only everyone 95. who walks in here the same joke. Spoiler alert: the boat sinks. There wasn't a thing as such a thing as spoiler alert back in the '90s. That's a fairly recent thing. Yeah, the uh, Titanic wasn't out yet. I saw that in the movie theater, too. I'm fairly sure it's about some guy who falls in love with his golden retriever. I don't know what movie that is. I think that movie is about a girl and a boy who hate each other at first, and then they fall in love for no reason at all. No, it's just about every oh, romantic... <laughs> that's every romantic comedy ever. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> the thing... Yeah. One of my favorite horror movies. The thing. That's, uh, that's a... Just some random band poster. Well, it's not random if you like them. Pulp Fiction. Love that flick. I love Kathy. Messy. Okay. Just the way I like it. 
What's this? Look, even all our drawers are out. She doesn't have a single thing. What's this? Our room phone. It's got an external line. Yeah, I have one of those too. And I'm five minutes I lived in the dorm. Okay, let's go. I guess we'll go. I mean, I don't think there's anything here that I need. Excuse me. Another reason it reminds me of Winona. What's this? Cemetery. smoke. Does anyone object? Guess not. We shouldn't Dead smoke. Dead people fool. How do I move? Do I... No, you just click somewhere, yeah? Mausoleum. Oh. Well, there's a funeral. We are gathered here today to honor a person of great integrity, a pillar of the community, and a decorated war hero. His name was Joseph Irving Rain. We all remember his warm heart, his compassion, and his eagerness to help others. His passing while our loss is surely heaven's gain. Now we entrust our brother Joseph to God's mercy. We commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies so they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Oh, Kathy, you big baby, just talk to her. You mean your grandmother? Uh, excuse me, Mrs. Rain? Have we met, hon? You look strangely familiar. It's me. It's Catherine. <laughs> Catherine who? You don't recognize me? I guess it's been a while. I might be a bit taller than you remember me. Kathy? Bless my soul. Look at you, all grown up. Oh, how I wish Joseph could see you now, finally coming home. Let's hope he can, wherever he is. A comforting thought, dear. Lord, how long has it been? Ten years? Fifteen? Fifteen sounds about right. I was six when Mom took me away. Goodness, we have some catching up so to do there. So she's 21? I want to know everything. Listen, I'm not quite ready to leave yet, but why don't you join me at the house in half an hour? Sure, I'd love to. I passed it on my way here. It shouldn't be too hard to find. I'll see you soon, then. I'm so glad you found your way back home. I can't wait for us to have a chance to talk. Same here. See you in a bit. I mean, isn't this your grandmother, Leo, honey? I didn't realize her name was Catherine, for starters, when I started playing this game. I just thought it was Kathy. Um, I don't know anyone who's named Catherine, but goes by Kathy. Look at... It says Price. Like Vincent Price. Um, family mausoleum. The family must have been fairly rich. Those things don't come cheap. I'm not gonna mess with anything. I'm gonna go, probably go back to the house. Oh I'm my god. I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. If you wish to find God, the Church of the Holy Trinity is always open to you. Is that you so? Here, have a brochure. It's never too late to turn away from the path of sin. What makes you think? Oh yeah, what makes you think I'm on the sinful path, Father? No sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? <laughs> no sin, but what am I supposed to do for fun? Behind those words is a deep wound. A desire to belong. If you let him... Christ can fill that void. Oh, please don't make Christ fill my void. I'm so totally not up for that. 
the crude facade of a lost soul. I'll pray for you. I wish you comfort in this time of grief. Okay. Yeah, that was just softballing it in. Okay. I also love that the background just looks like a cornfield in the Midwest. I have no idea where she's at or where she's supposed to be. Rain resonance. Again, is this not your grandmother's house? Grandma. Yeah. Anybody home? Wouldn't your grandma be more excited that you're home or you're there? Even if it is under those circumstances? Cute red horse. It's some old Swedish thing, I think. Coats. Nice black leather coat. Right up my alley. Oh, I do love a leather coat. An old wheelchair. Not too dusty. Probably used recently. Oh. Oh, hello, dear. I was just wondering what took you so long. Sorry, I couldn't resist taking that old wheelchair for a spin. Oh, was I supposed to use it? Oh, don't give me that look. I put it back. <laughs> you haven't changed one bit. Always kidding around, just like when you were little. Come have a seat. We have so much to talk about. So, now, tell me about your life in the city. Oh, there's not much to tell. I'm going to school for journalism. It's my second year. I ride a motorcycle, in case you missed it there out front. Ah, oh, that's right. Just like your father. Yeah, I suppose. I must ask, have you heard anything from your father? Anything at all? No, nothing since he bailed way back then. Mm -mm. I expected as much. He disappeared without a trace. No matter, that's ancient history. How Sharon, then? The truth you had her committed to a mental institution avoid the subject no reason to bring it up now Ooh. I let's be real mom is I had her committed to a place where she could get some real help I just couldn't take it anymore hmm. I'm sorry to hear that in spite of everything that happened when she took you away yeah about that I'm sorry I didn't visit sooner grandma Mom, she told me all these horrible lies about you and Grandpa. When I was old enough to understand what she was doing, I felt like it was much too late. It wasn't your fault, dear. You were a child. I'm just happy that you're here now. Me too. So, what about you? How have you been doing all these years? I've been lonely ever since the accident. There's no denying that. What accident? Goodness gracious, of course you don't know. She took you away before it all happened. Don't know what? I will never forget that dreadful day. August 16th, 1981. It was the middle of the night when Sheriff Truman knocked on our door. He had Joseph with him. I couldn't even recognize Joseph at first. All dirty and wet with an awful blank stare on his face like his soul had been ripped from his body since that day he never spoke a word forever confined to that blasted wheelchair really for all this time i had no idea it came as a shock to all of us that's horrible grandma i'm so sorry thank you dear why do you think Grandpa suddenly left that night in 81? I haven't the faintest idea. He acted very peculiar not long before it happened, disappearing for hours at a time. At first I even suspected he was having an affair. When I asked him about it, he just said he was chasing old demons. He must have had something to do with the war. Hmm. PTSD. Did they know about that back in 95? Maybe it was post-traumatic stress disorder? Grandpa always had a hard time showing weakness. 
I don't know, dear. I, I'm just speculating. I didn't think too much of it at the time. Joseph was a man of few words. I'm sure he just didn't wish to burden me with it, whatever it was. What do the doctors have to say about Grandpa's condition? Persistent vegetative state. That's what they call it. He was like well, that I've for what? All by now. 14 years? One doctor said it was a stroke. Another claimed it was a seizure. The third hack tried to sell it off as a severe infection. It's all a load of tripe. I had an MRI performed on Joseph. It's one of those state-of-the-art head scans. I know, what it is. Yeah, I've heard of them. Right. Yes, well, according to the scan, his brain was completely intact. They thought it was a technical problem at the time, some kind of glitch. But the result was the same after three different scans on three different machines. Should Eventually, they had to confess that they simply had no credible explanation for the state he was in. Hmm. And this injury just happened to occur on the very same night he mysteriously disappears? Indeed. I refuse to believe it was a coincidence. It wasn't, obviously. What did Sheriff Truman have to say about the matter? <sighs> Not much. He said they simply found Joseph in that condition on the outskirts of town. The sheriff was convinced there was some kind of foul play involved, but the investigation turned up nothing. He later said that he was sorry, but that he was forced to close the case. You know, I could try to find out more about this. You're welcome to try, dear. Some kind of closure would mean the world to me. Okay, I think I'll head over to the sheriff's station for a little chat then. Would be nice to witness police doing some actual police service for once. Sure, you go ahead. Let me know if I can be of any more help. Okay. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. Ooze! Look at ooze. Expensive looking scotch. That thing has been standing there forever. Can I? Uh, drink? It would be kind of funny to see her reaction, but no. Oh, damn it. You're an adult? Grandma has prepared some tea for us. Oh, should I drink some? Nah, I'm more of a coffee gal. Okay. I didn't know if that was something I needed. What's this? I used to love digging through those drawers when I was a kid, looking for coins, buttons, and trinkets. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Oh, so that means we should probably go... Nice leather chair. Freckles, the old farm cat, used to love that thing. That's a nice chair. A decent-sized book collection. Most of them science or history related from the looks of it. Okay. I wonder why Grandpa ended up in that thing. It was a joke, you know. <laughs> I shouldn't overstay my welcome. It's your grandma's house. Like, wouldn't you think you'd stay there? A wedding photo from when my grandparents married. They look younger than I am now. Things have sure changed. It's a photo of this very farm from way back. It says June 12, 1910 in the corner. Wow. It is funny to think, like, uh, compare your parents with yourself. Because my grandparents, I think, were married straight after high school. So they married, like, I think my grandma said she was married, like, she graduated in June. I think they got married in July. And a year later, she was having my dad, which is insane to me. And, you know, I'm 32 now. I think when my grandmother was 32, she had, like, a kid that was probably in about middle school by the time, so like, and almost two kids in middle school, she had two little boys, and you know, was divorced and remarried. It's insane to me to think that how different are, you know, I think that's something that's kind of funny is, you know, I couldn't even imagine having kids. Young cop. Hey, Sheriff, what's the deal with that bump? What bump? The one in the cell. 
I couldn't hear what he said. Some young cop. Looks a bit familiar. Looks like an albino. Double doors. Hi. Hello. Do I have to commit a crime to get your attention? Because I seriously will. Ma'am, I'm really quite busy at the moment. Ma'am? Hey, wait. I know you. I'm pretty sure you don't. Yes, I do. You're Kathy. Kathy Rain. My reputation precedes me in a kind of but not totally creepy way. Oh, come on. It's me, Lenny. Lenny Marks. Admit the truth, you have no clue who he is. Pretend to recognize him. You know, I'm terrible with like memes like that to so people like I haven't seen in years. Like I don't I'm drawing a blank. Really? You don't remember us playing when we were little kids? Not really. Sorry, buddy. Darn. Well, that's a bummer. Anyway, what can I do for you today? Ooh, show church brochure. Oh, let's not show him the stun gun. I wanted to ask if you know anything about my grandfather's accident. I really don't know much beyond the rumors. The sheriff may have more information, but even he probably doesn't know anything that isn't in the report. It happened before either of us worked here. Okay, I think I'll have a chat with the sheriff then. Sure thing. His office is to your right. Well, gotta go. See ya. Okay, so go. What up, Sheriff? Hello, Sheriff. Do you have a moment? Not really. Make it quick. Do you know what happened to Joseph Rain in 81? He had a stroke in the woods. That's what happened. If that's all there is, why would Sheriff Truman open an investigation? It was just standard procedure. A general occurrence report always has to be filed. I see. Did you know him at all? No, I haven't been in town for long. Man sure has one hell of a reputation, though. It's been over a decade since he was put in that wheelchair, and people still talk about the man he used to be. It's like he was a cult leader or something. Hmm, sounds like a conspiracy theory to me. Could be, but you know what they say? Things too good to be true usually are. What? Police report. Could I have a look at that report? Absolutely not. They're official police documents. Why not? I thought filed police reports are public record. Not in this state, they ain't. Oh, and this is before... Um... What is it? The Freedom of Information Act came out. But I'm family. Doesn't that count for something? You consider yourself family? I've never even seen you before in this You town. said you haven't been in town it's long. complicated. Guess what's complicated? Not to mention illegal. Handing out evidence to anyone who asks for it. It's not evidence if the case is closed. Aw, oh, come on, Sheriff. What's the big deal? It was a long time ago. It would make this girl very, very happy. Are you trying to use flirtation on an officer of the law? No. Well, that shit may work on numbnuts like Lenny, but I got work to do. Lenny, a little help here? Don't you agree that he's taking by the book too far? Well, uh, boss, she is his granddaughter, really. I don't think it's any... Don't you think I know that? There are rules. Am I the only one in here who cares about the law? The whole world gone crazy! Am I the only one around here who gives a shit about the rules? Too much coffee, you, try Walter? not to pop a vein. You want to see the inside of a cell? Oh, cuff me, officer. Spare me the torment of your rhetorical questions and veiled threats. You have no reason to put Just me in there. Just follow the rules like everyone else. I've had enough of this nonsense. Fine. Yeah, you have no reason to put me in a cell. Let's go look at the bulletin board. Various notices and a wanted poster. How's the paperwork coming along, Lenny? Uh, okay, a bunch I of guess. cops lining Maybe up for a photo. Through. That's no good. We're gonna have to cancel lunch today. Again? Oh man. Your motivation shouldn't be limited by your growling stomach. <sighs> if you say so, boss. Talk to you hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? <coughs> hey. I need to see the police report from 81 when my grandfather was found by the old sheriff. 
I'd love to help, Kathy. The files are right here behind me. But you better check with the sheriff first. Okay, I'll do that. Well, gotta go. See ya. He's not gonna let me. The files Looks are behind. Looks like talking isn't gonna help me get that report. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. I wonder what's behind those doors. Deep fingers. Lots of police reports organized alphabetically by the looks of it. Okay, so let's go to the double doors. Hmm. Hey. What? I can't eat! Let's turn that off because it's just nothing but white noise. Thanks. That was getting annoying. You're welcome. Hey. Hi there. So, why'd they put you in that cell? Uh, well, uh, it, it's all just a big misunderstanding. Is that so? Yeah, I, I didn't mean to steal anything. I was just using my pockets to move the beer to the checkout. That's the worst excuse I have ever heard. For your information, I happen to have a deadly fear of shopping carts. I take my last statement back. This excuse <laughs> is even worse. Hey, it wasn't your father who was killed by a shopping cart when you were eight. Uh, I sure hope not. To be fair, mine wasn't either. It was just Uncle Bob. <gasps> Uncle Bob! But that Bob! doesn't mean it was any less traumatic, mind you. To this day, okay. I still get nervous breakdowns at grocery stores. I think I've heard enough, buddy. You're right. We should stop before the flashbacks begin. Okay. Um... You need to keep the blonde cop out there busy for a while. I do? Ten bucks says you do. Hmm. I'd say my services in this matter are worth at least twenty bucks. Nine. Fifteen. Eight. Fine. Ten. Seven. <laughs> Deal. He's Good. still going down. So, uh, what am I doing again? Distract that young cop in the lobby. I don't care how you do it, as long as you keep him occupied for a while. Okay, then. Let me know when. Will do. Okay, so let's have a no look around. No wanted posters. I'm disappointed. Okie dokie. Just box. a bunch of boxes filled with office supplies. Various tools. Ooh, can I pick? Ooh. Too heavy to carry around and too noisy to use in here without getting caught. Okay. Ooh. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. Think about them. If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. Okay. Computer monitor. A computer monitor. Probably. Okay. Um. Just a bunch of boxes filled with a jail cell. No, I was looking at the mop. Huh. Very funny. Oh, I was gonna use it. Okay. Hey. Hi there. Hi there. Okay. okay gotta go. See ya. Okay, so I guess we'll tell him to keep him distracted. Hey, the jail is off limits. You shouldn't be in there. Oh, sorry. I, I just heard someone yelling. Uh, I think that guy in the cell needs some help. Ah, <sighs> oh, what now? Okay, I have to make this quick. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, and Andrew was in Canada, so I had to do it right in front She's spraying, he did not respond to she spoke to, apparently dirty from head to toe, and went up to his knees. Mr. Rain was fiercely clutching a small tape recorder, complete with tape. Being cooperative, we could be led. Ooh, let's see, picked up Mrs. Rain in the bar home. Mr. Rain to emergency room, upon the tape recorder, discarded on the back seat. Well, evidence locker five. Speaking of evidence, like a five. Hmm. I'm gonna have to get my hands on that recorder. Okay, let's find the key to locker number five. Got it. Huh, I wasn't going through your desk or your files or anything. Hey, Sheriff. Is What's the deal with that bump? What bump? 
A jail cell. Hey. Hi there. Okay, gotta go. See ya. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, I was just gonna thank him for doing it, but. All right, got it. That was like the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Hey, uh, uh, Kathy, wait. What? Do uh, you eat foot? I, I mean, food? Absolutely not. I feed on human misery. <laughs> I, uh... I'm kidding. Relax, Lenny. Yes, I do eat food. Oh, well, great. Can I buy you food sometime? And also buy food for me? And, and then maybe we can eat the food together? Oh. No, oh, come on. Oh, he was being nice. Um, although, let's see. I don't want to say, like, be mean. Uh. I'm really busy right now. Okay, Maybe okay. later. Oh, okay. See ya. Okay, good. Because that was... Okay, so I need to go, I guess we'll go back to the house, but this seems like a good place to stop this episode for right now. So far, I really, really like this game. Um, where's the autosave? Yeah, let's just do that. Um, so far, I really like this game. It's very interesting. Like I said before, it gave me some serious Winona vibes. Her attitude, you know, that's the whole thing. It's the whole concept. Um, you know, kind of a misfit comes back to her hometown for a family funeral. Uh, turns out there's a little bit of a mystery as to what happened exactly. Uh, of course, Winona is a bit more. Uh, drawn out because of a family curse and whatnot, but I do love it. I love the banter. I love Kathy's attitude. It's she's Catherine, and it's it's base. She and I apparently have the same brain. I, I think someone. I'm kind of mad. I think I should go and figure out whoever wrote the script and be like, who's been following me. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Be sure to jump down that like button if you did like it. Leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. I will see you all for the next one.